Hello, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. Today I am going to fight the boss right away, but just for my own memory's sake, I will have to go to the fourth bonfire, I believe, and that's the area that previously I was lost with regards to where the... There were chests that were frozen, and there were... There was a door with a bunch of torches in front of it. I, I now, I went back and checked and I know how to get, I know that that is where I need to go to get to those. So, it's boss time though, now though. I'll just try to remember to do it after the fight. Assuming the fight doesn't take 45 minutes. God, that looks bad. The falling. Yeah. I have to fight these guys for a while, is my understanding. Then three of these get, and then these things get frozen over. Um, help, dudes? What are you guys doing? You're doing nothing to help? They, okay, it they, was a bad start, but also like, what is that guy doing? I messed up. I got greedy. I hoped I could kill him quicker. It's a terrible start. Absolutely terrible start. But also, like, what are these guys doing? They're supposed to be helping. They just kind of stood there. One of them was shooting magic. Didn't hit the one that needed to be hit. One of them was standing off to the left doing nothing. And then the rest were doing nothing. Until I was already 90% dead. Not a good start. Uh, I guess I have to take it slower. Let the knights go in first. So that they get attacked first. And I don't have to think about it. God, that looks bad. Get my souls and then... Ooh, they just mill about here for a good 20 seconds. Okay, yeah, okay. They just take a long time to move. Good... Oh... Okay, no, and they do just focus me. What are these knights doing? It's my bad for dying, but my assumption was they would fight them. So I wouldn't have to think about the fact that there's four of them chasing me at a time. Well, three, I think, but I was like, okay. I can attack these two, and that the other, the four knights that came down with me will fight the other ones. Nope. That's not what's happening. I've seen that shield on that phantom a lot. There must be some reason for it. I don't have that shield. I don't really care to find it, but there must be a reason that that shield is something I've seen so much. So, important lesson from first two attempts. Treat it as if those knights don't exist. Hit once, and then run away. Hit once, and then run away. Don't try to fight them for more than two seconds, otherwise you'll get hit by the other knights. Because they only aggro on you. They don't attack the knights that are down here with you, and the knights that are down here with you don't attack them. I guess what I should just be doing is circle the knights so that these guys actually engage in combat. Please, thank you. I think I need to not let them die, but... Not a fan. 
I miss playing. I'm playing poorly. I'm not a fan, though. I hope the actual boss is interesting. I just don't like fighting 15 enemies. It's only three at a time, maybe up to six, but... Oh, hit once, walk away. Hit once, walk away is how you're supposed to do it, I guess. Because I can't kill them in one combo. I run out of stamina and then I have to dodge three times to get out of their reach. And if I do that, I don't have enough stamina to get out of their reach and I get hit. But I get greedy because I don't want to waste time on this enemy phase. So I die and I waste more time. So I should just play it incredibly slow and use a bow. Maybe one hand them. So I get the horizontal swing. That could be worthwhile. I could try using the um, arcane smelter sword. Wow. Good job on your attacks, knights. It's no wonder that so many of you have turned to evil. You do a great job of fighting. I'm just tilted. It took five minutes and I'm already tilted by this fight. Like by the fact that these knights don't do anything. <sighs> Gameplay wise, it makes sense that the charred knights focus on the player. Gameplay wise, it makes sense. But the fact that the normal knights struggle to even hit them enough to draw the aggro that they eventually do draw is really lame. Also, apparently, this is where you have to farm those souls I picked one up one of. If you want, like, a reward, you have to farm a ton. They really could have just had them path into the main arena instead of having them just sort of mill about for a while. Uh, okay, I guess just run in circles is the strat. And he's still chasing me. Which is good, because if these guys die before they can freeze the gates, I think you lose, but... But like, ooh, the best strat is run in circles. Because what else are you going to do? I need to kill them, but I can't because there's too many and they don't get aggroed by the other guys. And I can't backstab them. They're unbackstabable, it seems. Kill the guy? Like... He's right in front of you with 50 HP. Just shoot him. Or swing a weapon at him. Like, it's not that difficult. They do 30 damage per hit. Not a fan of this. Like, just running around is probably not the best way, but... Oh, I got hit by a backswing. Two frozen, that's good. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan. Because it really feels like the best way to do it is just run in circles for a while until they chip the enemies down enough. Because there's just so many of them that spawn. Swing, and you would have killed him. I hope I'm not doomed if the one that's left dies. I mean, all those got frozen, so I hope that's all I need them for.
I'm gonna die. I got lucky. Wow. What an interesting fight. I can't imagine this fight with something that doesn't eat. Like, if you try this fight, oh, the knight's dead. I imagine if you did this fight and you couldn't stagger them, it would be even worse than this. Maybe I'll try a different weapon. Maybe I'll try the horizontal swinging melter sword. I'm not a fan. I'm really not a fan. It's the worst type of boss fight, in my opinion. It's different, and I can respect that. I don't like boss fights that are all designed about... A, just throw a ton of enemies at you. You can't kill them necessarily, unless you're lucky, you can't kill them faster than they spawn. You can probably kill them at a rate faster than what I did. I spent a lot of time running in circles, but... They have to be grouped up enough that you can stagger them all at once, otherwise I don't think you can consistently deal damage to them. And we have to wait here because these guys just sort of stand here doing nothing. They could have been made to just walk forwards a bit instead of milling about, but no. That would be too much effort. Ah, I start with a pyromancer this time. Which might actually be good. They recover very quickly from being smashed by a giant sword. Please crunch too. And they only attack the one that I'm about to finish off. So it doesn't actually help much. I don't even stagger them long enough that I can get two hits in, guaranteed. Yes. Attack me, and not the guy that is killing you actively. Yes. I'm dead. And by dead, I mean hit. Oh, I'm almost dead, though. One Estus. Ah, uh, yes, again. Giant explosion hits you. Not staggered for long. Please, finish him off, thank you. At this point, I need to swap my weapon. I got lucky. I should be fine now, hopefully. This should be the last one of these guys. Hopefully. Get out of my way. I got a great sword at least. I am actually going to use this right here.
Hopefully he actually shows up quickly enough for this not to be a total waste. Okay. I mean, the reason I want a fight to be done isn't because I want to succeed in fighting the boss, it's because I don't want to do the first phase again. I think it's a bad boss. Like, unless I don't have to repeat that first phase, I think this is a bad boss. I think this is a garbage boss. That second phase is super cool. I never want to ever do the first phase of that fight again. That first phase isn't fun to me. It doesn't get what's... For me, it doesn't scratch the interesting appeal of this series. All it is, is enemy spam. And I don't enjoy that. That second phase was cool. It's like, okay. This could be a lot of fun if it was a standalone boss, maybe a little more HP, maybe a little more damage. I don't know about the damage, though. The damage might be fine. Like, if that second part had more damage or more HP, it would have been a difficult fight. I got lucky that I didn't die there. I bright bugged, made it easier. But that first phase, unless you don't have to repeat it, is terrible. I hate it. And I don't like that boss fight because of the first phase. You've granted my one wish. Now, I have no regrets. I was born amidst the dark. Long ago, in the depths of the abyss, my father perished. I'm pretty sure it's like it's Manus, which means that was me and everyone who played Dark Souls 1. But. They didn't say I sought an anchor. Yeah, you can keep going down there, I guess, to repeatedly fight them. Can I go up there? 
I guess if you get enough of their souls, you can trade them for items. I'm not doing that. That would be a grind. That would be pointless, but... Because what, what I think I checked what you could get, I don't think what you can get was any interest to me. But I'm done with this area for now. Almost. I just need to go here. There's two chests to open. There's a frozen mimic somewhere, actually, that I should probably find again. Wrong one. Um, it must have been this one, then. It was one of these bonfires. I guess I forgot which one specifically, but... Oh, wait. It is this one, except this one doesn't have a path back to the area that I was trying to go, huh? Maybe it does have a path to where I'm trying to go, but it doesn't have a path to where that I thought it was. Is it over here? Is this where I want to be? No, this is not quite where I want to be. I mean, it's close, I think, but... I want to be on the other side of that wall, I think. Interesting, okay. This is where I want to be, I believe. I'd have to run past all this stuff a couple more times to find this where I'm going. Because I didn't thoroughly go through previous video to find exactly where I need to go. I just checked to see if I could figure it out. Th that did not throw correctly. I assume I still can't open this. Yeah. Because, like, the spear actually gets thrown out before... It leaves their hand before they throw it. Okay, I I'm... I was going to do it now. Oops. I'll do it. I'll come back for this next time. Next time I come back to the area... I will make sure that I know where I need to go to get the items. And uh, light the torches. But for now, I'll go with the main story for a bit. Which will need me to do giant memories. Am I going to be honest? I am actually just going to follow a guide for these. I'm not going to hunt for the trees that I need to find. I know there's a f at least one in the Forest of Fallen Giants. But I don't have the patience to hunt everywhere I've been already just to locate Bearer the memories of giants. Until hope has fully withered. Giant memories. Um memories. Wrong wiki. Bad wiki. Never use that one. Um, three levels, 50 strength. I do not know where to go. Okay, memory of Oro is one of them. Okay. Uh, maybe I should locate the... I should probably do Benhart stuff before I do all the memories, because one of the memories you get an item. After you do it, I don't know if you can go back in whenever, after you've already done it once. But for now... Uh, Ashen Mist Heart. Because I need to use the Ashen Mist Heart at a bunch of different locations. Memory of... now, Yeah, I have a list now. Memory of Vamar, located near the area that the player first meets mild-mannered Pat... Pate? Pate? I don't know where to find him. I don't remember. Encountered in the Forest of Fallen Giants. 
somewhere in the forest of fallen giants, I guess. Near here, maybe? Um, near the area where they meet mild-mannered what's-his-name. You know what? Because I'm overleveled. Actually, what does this need? This needs 45. I have more than 45 now. So can I power stance? Sick. As in, I can use this instead of the other ones that I was using before. It's not actually going to be very good. I... Probably shouldn't collect items from these guys, huh? I think he was somewhere down... Oh, this is an item that I never got, huh? I don't think he was here, but he was in... This sort of area. So, I missed this item. Buckler. I can remember- oh, actually, can't I see one of the trees from here? Because it, it's trees that have the giant memories. Yeah, one right there. Which I think if I go... Here... I just need to figure out how to get over there. I think going down is probably correct. Just work my way down... And then over. Um, I'm really not sure though. This is one of the memories. I don't know if it's the one I'm looking for currently. I meant to jump. I did not jump. Oh. Am I light enough to switch off this? Yes, I am. Just get more healing so I don't have to worry about it while I'm exploring low level areas. Should be able to heal enough this way to not worry. How much does it heal? A lot. That uses so much durability. Um, so I need to go up this way to get to that. I think I got a new door here a while ago, but I think this was accessing the item for the DLC. So I think this might be where I want to explore. Oh, a foot soldier, ger, soldier shield. I think what I'm probably going to do is just cut everything until I locate how to get to these memories because I can't imagine anyone ever would find trying to figure out how to get there entertaining. So I'm going to cut, and then once I find how to get to it, I'll retrace my steps to the bonfire that I left from, and then show that that's how I got there. So I'll be back once I find the first memory location. It's going to be a great time for me. I should probably pause it like here, but yeah, I'll be back. Managed to find, I managed to find one of them. It's not the one that I was looking for earlier, but it is right after the Pursuer Ross fight. It's an easy uh, reference point, so I'll work from there. Uh, this is the first of five memories that exist right now that I haven't already done. I do not know what I need to do here. I assume I just need to rush to the end to locate an item. I went to the right. Uh, 
I'm not gonna grab I'm not even gonna worry about grabbing items here honestly I say as I grab an item up here but so it would be pretty cool if nothing actually aggro's on you here in here because it's just a memory and you're just passing through I did say I wasn't gonna go for items Ooh, a soul vessel that's the thing that lets you respec, I think. And now I've decided I am going to worry about getting items. I mean, if I get to the end of the area just fine, then I'll just leave. I think that's what I needed. And I'm done. Because I need four of these total. They respawned. So yeah, right through here, the pursuer, you fight him. Right there. It's been so long since I've been in this area. So yeah, going into that giant memory actually respawned all the enemies. Kinda cool. It's annoying, but it's, it's cool. Come on. I'm just bad, but, uh, somewhere there will be another boss. Well, giant. So I think the path that I need is somewhere near here. Oh, there's one right there. Okay. That's probably the one near... Pate, Pate, whatever his name is. So this will be memory of the Vamar? Vamar? I have to go back to Shrine of Amana if I want to do the crown stuff. There's a memory that I have to enter that gives me Vendrick's blessing or something, but I have to go back to the Shrine of Amana to go behind a door to get the king's crown for that to even do anything. I'm not looking forward to that. I mean, I guess I'll go this way. These are very funny giants, honestly. Like, they're very funny designs. There's a bookcase here. Bookshelf. It's so silly. It's also very vibrant, which I kind of like. Very bright. Lots of colors, which is weird, but up the ladder I go. Hmm. Oh, they spit out a fireball and then throw it? That's pretty cool. Giant warrior club. And that's what I need. I'm just going to explore here a minute. Oh no. I regret my choices immediately. Petrified something. I doubly regret it because I'm never going to do anything with that. I guess I'll take a second because I think it gives you a warning if you're out of time. I think that's the giant I need. So before I interact with it, I will... You know what? I think I can interact with it and not leave right away. If it's the correct giant. Like, I think I can just grab the soul. It's not the correct giant, either way. But I think I can grab the soul and then just not interact with it a second time. Rouge water. Rouge water. Ah. Okay, that's the guy I needed. 
I probably should have interacted with it twice to get out of here, huh? I'm gonna have to go in if this doesn't give me my souls back. I don't really need the souls, but I don't want to lose them. I got greedy. Assuming I can go back in though, I should be fine. So I can sh show the track though. It's just this place. Right down here. And then the left path is what gets you to the other, the pursuer fight. And by extension, the giant. That was weird, that sound. So this is the second giant. The next one is apparently near the place unbeknownst bonfire. And I need the king's ring. Oh. What are you doing here? You are not one of our soul. Whoever you are, whether you are. I yeah, interesting. Not. Bye. I know that there's probably lore there, but I'm on a time pressure. Like, if I'm not out of here in five minutes, I get kicked out. It's probably interesting lore in a relative sense. I'm going to climb the ladder again because it's quicker. Never mind. I expect it to be more dangerous than this, honestly. That was a very chill run, huh? That was actually very relaxing. I should just swap one of those for the heal. Uh, not heal. Um, physical defense. Oops, I misrolled. I'm not here to kill giants. Anyway, if this kicks me out, I'll take it. There's probably items I could gather, but I'm not really that worried. That is giant soul number two. Um, well, I guess that's giant soul number three because I got one from Freya, maybe? Next one is place unbeknownst bonfire. So wait, the best way is down, down, left, left. Place unbeknownst bonfire. I assume... I don't know where the place unbeknownst is. Things betwixt is not... Wait, wait what's that? Bonfire intensity one. Oh yeah, there's some sort of quest with Macduff. I haven't talked to him since I gave, talked to him once, so I don't really know. Okay, so place unbeknownst is somewhere. Cardinal Tower. So I need to go down. I need the King's Ring. This will get me back to that door that I can go through. So, down here, is it this way? I remember, indeed, there was a place in this general area that needed, yep, it's right here. Perfect. I already fought the guy. I need to equip the ring. Where is the ring? The ring is there. I already fought the guy here, so I don't have to fight him again, which is nice. Uh, memory of Jay, the giant lord, so I think I should probably wield real weapons for a bit. So this will be the third one. Then there's dragon memories in Duke's Dear Freya's location. And memory of the king that I don't need to do until after I beat Vendrick, I think. It might be best to do it then, but... This is an actual boss fight, I think. 
So this is the last giant soul that I need, I believe. Also, I'm maybe I can do maybe I can re-enter one of these to talk to Ben Hart. For now, I'm not even worrying about it. Oh, uh, yeah, this bit, isn't it? It's gonna be big explosions. Okay, fire. Oh, gaming. Totally could have dodged that damage. The giant head that's rolling. Oh, also, I don't have the right stuff equipped. Where is the carry weight ring? Stamina ring. And now I can fight him. I'm pretty sure it's basically just super lost giant. Like, more threatening because he has a sword and stuff, but not that fundamentally different, except for the fact that he can swing his sword through his feet and force project when he swings his sword. Good to know. Not a fan. Maybe I should just fight him further from the wall, though. Maybe... Well, um, okay, I can't fight him farther from the wall because I get hit by a random explosion. Yes, that hit. Give me the item. Fire seed, giant lord soul, giant kinship. I murdered a giant lord. 150,000 souls now. That's a lot of souls from just a measly old giant. Soul of a giant. What? Presumably there's a character there at some point. Uh... I want to check. Soul of a giant. One, two, three, four, and then Ancient Dragon. So I should be at four for sure now. Yes. So I can go kill Vendrick. I won't do it right now because I need to wrap up the episode. But, and it will probably, it is technically a boss. But it's time to go level up. And there's a few more memory things that I, I will need to do. Because after I beat... There's a memory of the king in the undead crypt near Vendrick's discarded clothing. No idea what that means. No idea where that is. But I can go there to get Vendrick's blessing after I have the king's crown and the other three crowns that I've already gotten from the DLC. And that will bless them and prevent me from becoming hollow while wearing them. Um, so it's, it's, yeah, I think I know where it is. King's crown is obtained behind a locked door in the shrine of Amana after defeating Vandrick. So I need to beat Vendrick before I can get that. And then I'll have to go back to the Shrine of Amana. Of the curse. I will always until hope. So I'll have to go kill Vendrick next. Then I have to go back to the Shrine of Amana. Ooh, only six more levels. And then when, uh, once I'm done in the Shrine of Amana, I'll have the, the crown... Once I have the crown, I can go to the other memories. Okay, I can go to the memory of the king to get the crowns that I want blessed so that they're usable. 
And then there's a few more memories to clear. I'll have to do... There's one near Duke's, where Duke's Euphrea was that gets a curved greatsword. And I think that's it. That and the memory of the king are the only memories left. And then once I do all that, I can fight the final boss of the main game. But before that, I'll do the DLC stuff. So it's very close to the end now. It's just chugging along. So have a nice day. Bye-bye.